Welcome to a bonus episode of our Track Build Civic. My brother's gonna do some hot laps today. I'm gonna jump in, Dave's gonna jump in. We're gonna try to teach him, give him a little bit of skills so he can rip some serious VTEC. So if you've watched our five day track build challenge, then you remember my brother Jay, who is the proud owner of the Civic EK. And he's been out here ripping a couple hot laps. He's been out once, and so far it's pretty good? It's absolutely, it's great. I'm pretty rookie at this, so need a little bit of lessons from the older brother. <laughs> yeah, so me and Dave are actually gonna give you some lessons. We're gonna make it happen. But before we do that, I noticed you were bouncing uh, the rev limiter again, DP, just like we were, right? We yeah. had some problems with that. Need to fix and, that uh, up. I think Scott, or is it Nick? Damn it, I already forgot your name, but one of our fans donated this SIR cluster and said, yo, you guys are just bouncing the rev limiter way too much. Here, take this cluster. It's got a 9K tack, and you're going to be able to actually see where you're going to be able to shift. So we're going to try to install this right now and uh, see how it goes. So usually I'm the one that's doing this job, but uh, since you're here, Jake, I'm gonna let you do this. No problem. I'm not actually sure if this will bolt right in, but I hope it does. I think you just yank. There you go. How many plugs we got back there? We got five. All right. I think a couple are the airbag and ABS, I know we need to plug back in ABS, but maybe we'll leave that airbag light out, which is the yellow one. And now the moment of truth, we test it. Oh yeah, all right. Looks like everything works. And would you look at that, we are done. That's a sweet SIR cluster. It's time to go rip, man. Let's do this. Oh man, rip and tick already, I like it. Yeah, that cluster works good. Oh my god, I need a bucket seat here. Rolling around, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, do all your braking in a straight line. There you go. Yeah, cut tighter. Perfect. Now downshift to second. Nice. Oh, you got the heel toe down. I like it. Perfect. Oh yeah. Man, I forgot how good that well this car rotates. Yeah, what you want to do is shift quicker there. Look over here already, there you go. Make the turn, hard on the gas. Yeah. Woohoo! Hard on the brakes, stick. Wait, wait a bit, wait a bit, now turn. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, you're scrubbing out, so you're too aggressive there, but. So you gotta be a little bit more patient. The brakes so you can try to be straighter there okay try to go in a straighter line so you can cut through there and now be patient here patient patient light throttle now hard on the gas perfect there you go be tight here yep hard on the brakes grab second there you go wash out a little bit there you go Too late, see you missed it. But that's okay. <laughs> good save. Uh, I like it, that was a good save. I usually you're not gonna gain any speed there by going deeper because you, you get your exit is slower. So grab third here, grab third. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Man, do it awesome. There you go. Now patient, now hard on the gas. There you go, but see, you can cut straight through there, so yeah. you're good. I feel it better now. There you go. Well, you're, you're down a gear here. So, all right, man, that was awesome. That was absolutely awesome. So we can uh, relax a bit here. I'm getting tossed around like a rag doll, and we can just cool it off. I'd say my session out with the bro was pretty good. I mean, he's a little sloppy out there, but I can't complain. He's doing his downshifts, he's rev matching. 
being a little aggressive. I don't know if you saw that, DP, but we almost blew the corner down there. I was in the car right behind you. See? So, yeah, so, so yeah, yeah. That. But it's exciting. Uh, I was being thrown around. I was like, man, this car is kind of soft. I forgot why. This, so this suspension is a little soft. And then Jake informed me. Oops. I forgot to set it to full hard. Well, you want to go full stiff in the rear and maybe half, half, half stiff in the front. We don't want this puppy over understeering on you. So we're gonna dial this in and then uh, it's DP's turn All right. to go coach the man. All right. I've already given you top marks for Rip and Tech, Jake. That was impressive. Your drag racing background is showing in, in the banging of the gears. It's nice. It's good, I like your line there. Full power, bro, full power. Once you make the turn back there, you just go right back to full power. You got lots of room. Keep it tight here. Get on the curb. Get on the curb if you can. Now straight brake. There you go. Yeah. Now tight here. Keep it tight. And then give it, on her keep, it, keep it over to the right a bit more. Yeah. There you go. Does it feel different with the shocks turned up? Yeah, it does. It feels more responsive, right? Yeah. Get down to that curb. Yeah, let it track out there. Try to hit that cone on the left. Yeah, now go more in the middle. If You don't have to be full left here. You want to get down to that curb. Gotcha. So yeah, once you make your turn in here, just try to go back to full power if you can. Feather the throttle. Yep. Keep the arc. That's good. I'll, that's the right line. Straight through here. Yeah, and I keep it tight here. Stay more to the right. Don't go too far to the left. Yeah, turn in earlier there. Turning it a bit too late there. Yeah. Yeah. Using the curb. Whew. Too aggressive. All right, uh, you're gonna have to take me in because uh, the lap timer's not working, and I'm starting to feel nauseous. So it's a <laughs> it's a bad combination here all around. But uh, we can have a chat in there about things. It'll be good. It's time to drop some wisdom. Great beard. These great hairs were earned, Jake. And actually, I, I was telling him in the car on the way in here that I loved his aggression. You can't teach. You can't <laughs> teach not. aggression. Yeah. So he definitely is not afraid to attack the corners. In fact, he's attacking them too hard. So we're coming in too hot and kind of plowing off the line. So he, used to, he your S14 used to be Jake's S14, That's and he correct. kind of learned to track drive in that car. So he doesn't have the front wheel drive experience that we have. And so I'm just trying to get him to like brake earlier, turn in earlier, and then get back to the gas earlier. That's kind of more of a front wheel drive thing, I think, will help him uh, pick up some speed out there. So that's really all I can tell him at this point, other than, um, you know, top up your blinker fluid and tighten your muffler bearings. That's all, you, that's all you need to do. And I think the next episode will have us in a little bit of a lap battle. What do you think, yeah, TP? I think it may be time for bro versus bro. We're gonna let Jake go out with a lap timer now to kind of like coach himself try some different things and see how his lap time changes. I think that's always a really good technique to kind of do some self-learning. So he's gonna do some self-learning and next time maybe you'll uh, try to battle him. That's right. Bro on bro style. But there are more mods coming too. That's right, we do have a few mods uh, lined up. We've enjoyed this car so much, we can't help ourselves. We wanna rip even more tech, so uh, you will see more of it soon. I guess that's a wrap, isn't it guys? So this is the part where I tell you to go buy some Speed, like, Speed Academy swag and hit the like button and subscribe and all that stuff but you don't want to hear that you're tired of hearing that so just thank you just go, thank you for just watching go build a civic and come rip some tech with us how about that there you go I think that's, a that's a idea. good ending yeah welcome to a bonus episode of the five day track build challenge civic ish whatever shit do I call this <laughs>